So we have made a selection. The other side of making a selection, in most cases, is doing something with that text. You can change the appearance, or you can simply move it to another place within your document. That brings us, of course, to cut, copy, and paste, another thing which a lot of people have familiarity with, but you're going to be doing it over and over again in a word processing document, so you might as well learn how to do it the right way in the most efficient way. Now, when you cut or copy text, in Microsoft Word. It's going to go to the Office 365 clipboard. And you can do so in a number of different ways. You can use the clipboard commands up here in the ribbon. But the most straightforward way and quickest way, in my opinion, is to just use Control X or Control C. Control X, of course, cuts the text. Control C copies the text onto the Office 365 clipboard. Now you just find the place where you want to move that text to. Now I have a scroll wheel on my mouse, so you'll never see me using this scroll bar right here. I'm just gonna scroll by using my scroll wheel on the mouse. I'm gonna click the I bar where I want the insertion point to go. And so now the cursor is right before the paragraph and then shove the pen into his eye. And then I will do Control V on the keyboard to paste that text from the clipboard. You'll notice here that I've got a little button that I can click, the Paste Options. If I hit Control on my keyboard, it brings me this. And this lets me either merge or keep intact or just keep the text itself. You can see these in a little more detail here and you get the live preview that can help you determine what the paste operation will look like before you actually make the click. Now, because I was cutting and pasting text that was formatted the way I wanted it to be anyway, that's fine. It kept the source formatting, and that's what I wanted in my end result. Now that you've done that, select the next paragraph. You know how to select text now, and then copy it this time. And this time, I'll just do Control-C on the keyboard, and that copies the text to the Office 365 clipboard. Now this is the second occasion where I've mentioned the Office 365 clipboard, but we haven't yet seen it. To show the Office 365 clipboard, go up to the clipboard area up here, the clipboard grouping, and click on this dialog box launcher. And in fact, what happens is you get a clipboard panel that slides out, as you can see, and now you can see all of the items that you have recently cut or copied, and they live on the clipboard. And what that means is that just because you have copied this line doesn't mean you're limited to just pasting that line. You could go somewhere else in your document and paste this thing that you cut a couple of operations ago. So this can be a really handy, very time-saving feature that's built into the PC version of Office 365 that can save you from having to recopy and recut text as you're moving around and working especially in longer documents. Now, if you're using the Macintosh version of Office 365 and you are right now looking for the Office clipboard like this, that is one of the differences between the two applications. There aren't a whole lot, but that's one and it's pretty significant is that you don't have that Office 365 clipboard from which to choose multiple uh, cut and copy paste operations. Now, if you want to clear the things that are here, you have the uh, ability to do so by clicking on the clear all button here. You could also delete things from the clipboard by clicking on that drop down and clicking on delete. And then if you want this clipboard to remain available to you at all times, you don't want to have to remember to click on that clipboard dialog box launcher, then show office clipboard when control C is pressed twice or show office clipboard automatically can be some of the options that you choose from this clipboard. Now I'm going to close the office clipboard and show you two other things to think about when it comes to cut, copy, and paste text. One is that you should always know how to undo your last action. And the way that you undo your last action is with Control Z on the keyboard. And again, most people who have used computers for any length of time end up quickly finding out about the undo. In this upper left area up here, you've got another button that lets you do that, plus you've got a drop down that lets you undo multiple things all at once. Finally, let's talk about simple deletion. If I hit the delete key on a PC keyboard, 
it will delete to the right of the cursor. If I hit the backspace key, then it does just that. It deletes text that is behind the current insertion point. If I've got an entire block of text selected, then really it doesn't matter if I hit the backspace key or if I hit the delete key. So these are relatively simple tips and techniques to pass along, but they're also very powerful. If you ever need to be reminded just how powerful Microsoft Word can be, go out and find an old Olympia or Smith Corona manual typewriter and type a few paragraphs of text. You'll never have a greater appreciation of Word than to remind yourself how it used to be when it came to putting text onto a page.